Thanks for your interest today in our Tech Help video. The Tech Help video today is titled, Burner Runs Great All Day But Needs Reset Most Mornings. And we're referring to the meter pump system on this video. This is typically a suction leak on the suction side of the oil pump or possibly sucking air around the shaft seal in the back of the pump. To check this, follow the instructions in our meter pump book that came with the furnace. Either close off the quarter turn valve on the suction side or cap off the suction side fittings. This is a half inch flare copper cap. This is not a pipe thread cap. It has a flare in the bottom. That goes on this flare and it will close that off. Either way it's just closing off the suction side. Run the pump until the vacuum suction gauge goes down to 20 or 25 inches. The pump should do that no problem. Let it set for 15 minutes. It may lose one to two inches of vacuum, but then it should stay for 15 minutes or more down at the low vacuum. Also, while it has the vacuum, push the pump shaft seal sideways. This is the pump. The shaft seal, push it left and right, up and down and sideways. If the vacuum totally disappears suddenly, then you got it's war in the shaft here there's a groove right in that shaft right there or the seal could be war if if the vacuum disappears when you shake the shaft replace the pump also if you ever do take this cover off to clean this screen be sure that you replace the gasket if the gasket is cracked it will suck air Another thing, some filters, they tighten down in here way too tight and it does not get on the, on the rubber seal tight here. This, this rubber seal has to tighten up against the base up here. And if them threads are too tight, you have to over tighten the threads before it even contacts the gasket. That can be an air suction leak. Other things, some people use compression fittings these compression fittings suck air that will not hold vacuum on the suction side be sure you use a flare copper line on the suction side and do not cut it off where it goes through the top of the tank this is a bracket that it goes down through there cut it off eight inches off the bottom of the tank if you have pipe threads in the top of your tank you can put a compression fitting on here and then if you drill that fitting through the fitting can go down the tank with threads and you can go way down in and then you tighten this compression that holds it up eight inches off from the bottom that works very well then the copper line is seamless from this fitting to near the bottom of the tank this is a cleanable suction filter there's nothing wrong with them that can go fitting pipe go right into the pump cover that's fine that's a good setup this here we have trouble with these it's too long the, the fitting cracks here gets bent people fill this here with oil they forget to put permatex on that plug that will suck air the other thing is cheap quality fittings cast iron fittings poor threads even some brass fittings are cheap have poor threads on them. Do not use a uh, three-piece pipe union. This looks like it would work but these things suck air. You can use this here. This is an inverted flare similar to what a hydraulic hose got on. It's got a, a taper in here and it's got a uh, an inverted flare in there. Do not use just a regular straight in it must be inverted has to have a flare in there for them fittings to work together a lot of hydraulic hoses have the same thing that has an inverted flare on you can put this on the hydraulic hose and that into the filter that's fine use permatex on all your fittings just regular napa or aviation or indian head shellac permatex works great teflon tape will suck air Use a good quality fitting, 
Don't use plastic fittings. Hose clamp will smash it flat. It'll suck air. A lot of your hoses are not oil proof. Don't use CPVC for the suction line. That's problems. We recommend using Permatex on all suction fittings and seamless half inch flare copper line all the way from the meter pump suction filter to near the bottom of the tank, eight inches up from the bottom minimum. If you still have problems, see our eight page tactical help on our website. It's eight pages long and you can print it out and take it right over to your furnace. Hope this video helps you and thank you for watching.